Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So before I get into this week's topic, please, would you kindly visit my Odyssey page? Link is in the description. Please follow me on Odyssey. I am going to be doing more stuff on Odyssey, and you might miss me when I'm gone. I might go away someday. And I will be on Odyssey if I do disappear. That's where I'm going to go. So just so you know, that's where I'll be if all of a sudden, uh, for some reason, uh, if you care to watch my videos. So um, this week, I'm responding to a comment that was on one of my Silent Hill videos. So let me bring up that comment. First, I'll read the comment, then I'll respond. And yeah going to be one of those videos. Um, you know, I probably shouldn't be making this video. At least a lot of people are probably, you know, thinking that or going to say that in the comments or whatever. But, you know, uh, truth, understanding, consciousness, uh, you know, the heart, the mind, uh, building bridges, all of these wonderful things are important and they have value to me. So I'm going to make this video anyway so okay so this comment came from silent hill video exploring the divine feminine and this comment is from blue alice as a woman it is hard to take your tangents about the divine feminine and women being too masculine seriously i've been listening through the previous six videos regardless but i can't help but feel like you've like you're projecting a little with certain things. Perhaps you find submissive women attractive, but that doesn't mean women as a whole are suffering because they are doing something you don't like. That being said, I do enjoy your Silent Hill analysis videos and I plan on finishing the series. Okay, well thank you, first of all, thank you for your comment because, you know, understanding is a process right um trying to learn more about the world as we you know hopefully learn more and grow through our lives that's just a process and it takes time for that process to to act upon us as new things come i mean you know it's not as if we can open up the fire hose of understanding and just blast be blasted in the face with it i mean i suppose you could but you wouldn't really survive the endeavor now, um, first, to, to respond to your first part of this comment, um, you say you find it hard to take tangents about the divine feminine and women being too masculine seriously. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to refer to that video. Um, I'm going to read a quote that's on that video that, that you've responded to, and I'm going to explain uh, something about, you know, kind of what what this actually uh, is covering. So here's the quote. And today the masculine is the only way to be successful and we have been compelling women to become very masculine in their attitude, approach, and emotion. We have made everyone believe that conquest is the only way to success. But to conquer is not the way. To embrace is the way. Trying to conquer the planet has led to all the disasters we see today. If the feminine were more a dominant factor, or if masculine and feminine were more evenly balanced, I don't think we would have the ecological disasters because worship of the feminine and the earth always went together. Cultures that looked upon the earth as mother have never caused much damage to the environment around them. So, first of all, you know, you're right in the sense that it's a bit of a tangent talking about something that really doesn't seem like it has anything to do with Silent Hill. And so, you know, in that regard, I think tangent is an accurate description. It's not like, you know, it's not out of the realm of, you know, it's, it's not something crazy to say. So, when I made that video and when I was thinking, you know, because the, you know, an, an overarching theme in Silent Hill is the seeking of balance and the seeking of like this reconciliation of the masculine and the feminine. 
in these, you know, deep archetypes that exist, right? And so I brought that up because it's just kind of a, I thought it was, and, and I do still to this day, I understand that we're a very imbalanced society. And this is something you can see throughout the world. This isn't just in the West. I know some people accuse me of just bashing the West and, and worshiping the East, which is just, again, another oversimplification. But, you know, when, um, when you, you know, respond to this video, um, first of all, you, you know, I'm complimented on, you know, the, the other videos and you like the content and I presume you, you are reaping some of the insights that I'm bringing, um, in these, you know, Silent Hill videos, but then at the same time, I'm treated as if, you know, I'm this one dimensional person who just wants, uh, women to be a certain way or, um, that I don't understand the subtle nuances of women who are strong in their masculine, who are naturally that way or men who are strong in their feminine, who are naturally that way versus this social conditioning and kind of brainwashing for the masses that the only way to success is to be dominating. Okay. All these masculine traits that you see in society today, that a lot of women really just are inauthentic. They just are. And they're taking on these traits when it really doesn't suit them. Now, Having said that, there are women, I know women, that are strong in their masculine. They were born that way. It's natural to them. You can sense them. You can be in someone, you can be in a woman's presence and know this woman is strong in her masculine. Isn't this beautiful? Okay. So, you know, to make a comment like this, but not kind of, ex you know, you like my work and you think there's, there's some depth there, presumably, and that I've got some insights to offer and yet here I am uh, being just so completely, you know, one dimensional when it comes to uh, women and my, you know, wanting women to be a certain way or trying to say a blanket statement about women. I, you know, I'm very careful in my language and my thinking, and I have a lot of depth in terms of, you know, really trying to understand at a deeper level. Okay. So I just want to make that clear that. Um, what I'm saying in the video is that for women in general who are taking on this masculine attitude, this masculine conqueror sort of attitude that's not really natural to their energy, okay? And I've had many women write me, and in fact, if you look at those comments, if you go through some of the comments, there are women that are agreeing, and I've had women write to me and basically say, yes, thank you for saying that, because I've sensed that I've been taking on that energy unconsciously just because it's being conditioned it's all around us so um you know don't confuse uh what i'm saying don't don't take what i'm saying as a blanket statement okay it's more um if anything it's more a commentary on being uh more authentic okay let me look at the rest of the comment here um oh so so you you go on to say perhaps you know, you find submissive women attractive. Actually, um, women that are authentic are attractive, right? Just like men that, that are authentic are attractive. Um, you have to be very careful because um, I think you're under the spell of this sort of, um, and this isn't something that's, you know, like a, a, you're going to be fixed in your entire life or whatever, right? Like understanding is a process. I've gone through so much pain and suffering in my life, you know, realizing certain things about myself that are completely inauthentic, things that are um, kind of reflecting and going, gosh, you know, is this really me? What, what did I, why did I do that? And why did I say that? And those kind of things. And so it's, it's painful to kind of, you know, struggle with this kind of stuff. But then at the same time, later on, a little later on, it's liberating. So you can't have, you know, you, you, you can't really have real growth, I feel like, without pain and suffering difficulty, right? And I'm not trying to like ex 
push that on you or, you know, say you're less than or bad or, or anything like that, right? This is all about just trying to uh, go into a deeper understanding of what, what we're really talking about here, okay? So I think I've explained myself, and now I'm just going to kind of maybe hold up a bit of a mirror. Um, and, you know, you may not even see this message. You may not even care, and that's fine. But, you know, for other people, right, um, to maybe think about it, or maybe you're in a, you know, maybe you're thinking a certain, uh, in, in a certain way, a similar way, or you have a similar question that, that, that hasn't been asked, Maybe it's just something in your own life. It has nothing to do with me, right? Um, so I'm trying to make this kind of uh, general as well because really the, um, I think the most important thing is to deepen our understanding in general as a society, right? Whether that's through Silent Hill or, I mean, whatever, we have to really, we have a lot of work to do, okay? Uh, we, we're in a very sick society. It's, it's, it's obvious. Um, so... I mean, you go on to say that it doesn't mean women as a whole are suffering because they're doing something that you don't like. So I want to bring up something important here. There's this element of control that we unconsciously project on others so that um, if someone does something we don't like or we don't approve of or we can't control um, we'll have a tendency to not like them. That's a very controlling dynamic, and, and I notice that in a lot of people. Uh, and this is something I've been reflecting on and meditating on for, for quite some time with myself, and I'm trying to break that sort of cycle, okay? And I can see this is something that you may not be conscious of. And, you know, when you're projecting this stuff on me, and again, I'm not saying you're less than or, or you're bad for this or anything like that. I've been there done that I I get it but and and you know you may not be ready to hear this message this may feel like uh and I'm not I don't want it to feel this way of course um like some sort of like blind side or whatever but you know we're never ready uh you know it's not like it's not like you make an appointment for this kind of stuff okay and you're just going to show up somewhere and you're going to have your growth moment like that's doesn't it doesn't work that way things just happen like that and you're 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 just oh my goodness i didn't even expect that and so that's just that's just how it works um at least for me with others i am a mirror <laughs> so and again you may not even see this and you may not even care but maybe this will help some someone else so that that's sincerely my hope so there's this controlling aspect I want to talk about briefly. And, you know, for me to like, let's say, for example, um, if I found submissive women attractive, for example, that would mean that there's some, I'm projecting some control, right? I want, I want to control someone. And if a woman's not submissive, that means I can't control her, therefore... Um, she's not attractive, right? Well, think about how controlling and, you know, manipulative that is, right? And if you do any sort of deep reflection, thinking about, you know, human interactions and um, just conscious awareness and kind of, you know, seeing, trying to see the world as it is, you, you can kind of uh, quickly realize that that's very controlling and manipulative. And actually, that's one of the most um, toxic, unconscious currents in our civilization today. And, you know, you have this thing like um, the woke movement that's attacking, you know, men all the time. And listen, there's a lot of guys out there that um, they're not very consciously aware. Okay, it's it, sure, sure. But we have to understand that, you know, if you go around virtue signaling, but then you use the same manipulation and control to, uh, you use that same sort of tactic that you accuse others of doing, then what are you really doing, right? It's, you're using the exact same, uh, you're, at, you're operating at the same level of consciousness as someone that you are accusing of being a certain way. Okay. So in this case, this comment essentially, 
um, you know, make some accusations or some speculations about about my motivations or uh, my views on how I think women should be. But if you think about that, I mean, how manipulative is that? That's like really, there's a real problem there. And so, you know, we have to think about really accepting people in, you know, where they're at, of course. We're all growing, we're all learning. And there's plenty of young people, even old people, lots of old people that are not really authentic. But we try, we want to strive to kind of get to some place where um, we can be honest and we can um, realize these unconscious compulsions to control are not healthy and it's not helping anyone. And we have to really bring that out into the light. And that's an important thing uh, for all of us to kind of reflect on, you know. So I just, so that, I guess that's my message for you is, you know, um, this comment it didn't really feel like an attack. It really, I think it really, it really got to me in the sense that like, because I feel like in general, women are uh, more kind of understanding, more conscious uh, in, in a gen again, only general sense. In a general sense, women are, are more kind of uh, understanding and more intuitive. And, so, you know, and, and again, there's, it's not a stereotype. It's not saying all women should be this way or that way that, cause that's really controlling, but you know, it's kind of contrary to some of the other women that have written to me that have said the exact opposite. You know, they've said, I understand what you're saying. Now I understand, you know, we're all on a spectrum as far as like our consciousness and stuff and you're on your journey. I don't know anything about you. You know, I don't know anything about your background, how old you are, et cetera, et cetera. You may not even see this video, but if you do, maybe to give you some food for thought, um, that really the common denominator in all of this kind of stuff and all of these confusions between women and men and is it really comes down to this like inauthentic, uh, you know, unhealthy, unconscious control mechanism, right? It's this like dominator thinking versus like partnership thinking. Uh, there's a very good book from Rianne Eisler. She wrote a book called The Chalice and the Blade. And it really, uh, quite well, it, it details this dynamic between the dominator mindset and the partnership mindset. So really what I was talking about in the Silent Hill video has to do with, uh, you know, it, it really has to, it has less to do with control and domination and really finding balance, cooperation, understanding that place in the middle where we can all kind of uh, meet, right? And really try to have an honest conversation as adults and not kind of just try to dominate each other, try to control each other with words and shout each other down and say you're wrong because this and make accusations and all this kind of stuff. So I hope you take a little time to really maybe um, listen to what I'm actually saying in the video instead of, um, you know, instead of maybe taking your own perceptions as they are now and maybe really think about what I'm actually saying and I hope that uh, this will, um, you know, resonate with you and that um, maybe you can um, sort of understand that. And again, it's not, you know, I'm not talking down to you. I'm not, you know, I realize where you are at based on your comment. I don't really know you, but that comment it's not really an attack on me. It's more like a projection of where you're at in your level of consciousness. And I feel like um, if you could, you know, maybe that could be modeled or that maybe it's better said by other women. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but there are other women who understand what I'm relaying here and they agree with that. Okay. And again, it's not a matter of I'm right, you're wrong you're right, I'm wrong. You know, that's the old paradigm. That's the old way 
it doesn't work, right? We have to live on this planet together. We have to form some sort of understanding. It's hard work. It's painful. It's difficult. But it's grown-up shit, and we got to do it. Otherwise, we're just going to have the same old crap of people running around, you know, shouting each other down on social media and just talking past each other constantly. <laughs> it doesn't work. So it has to, you know, we, we have to really have real conversations again um, because we're, you know, we're not at this point. We're just accusing each other of things and being confused, right? So in keeping with that, if there's anything, Blue Alice, that you feel as if I'm confused on, um, happy to, you know, read your reply or, or what have you to this video. Um, if there's something you think that I've gotten wrong or, or there's some additional questions, happy to try to answer those questions or try to even understand, you know, because maybe I'm missing something. So it's very possible um, because I certainly, I mean, it's, I'm learning just like everybody else, right? And, you know, maybe I have a little more experience. Maybe I've just was birthed a little bit a few decades before you were had some time and experience, but that's not, it's not a contest. It's not a matter of greater than, less than. We have to stop thinking about it in that way because it's not helping anybody. And I don't think about it that way. And I don't see anyone as greater than or less than, okay? We want to meet in a place of understanding because if we don't do that, I mean, things are just going to get worse and worse. And, and really, I don't, I don't want to live in a world like that. Okay, and I don't think anyone else does either. Anyway, that was um, yet uh, quite a, um, <laughs> quite a, perhaps quite another tangent. I don't know. But anyway, have yourselves a wonderful day. Please go to my Odyssey. Follow me on Odyssey. I really don't know how much time I have on YouTube, honestly. And I'm not saying that for whatever clickbait reasons or anything, because come on. I mean, I'm not even monetized. I mean, what, what the hell do I care about clickbait at this point? Okay, you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.